everybody. Today's video is going to be about how to remove a tick. I actually found one on my own dog right on his head. So there's the tick. It's a it's a pretty big one. So I'm going to remove that. Okay, so make sure you have some gloves, some plastic gloves. You don't really need gloves, but it's safer to have gloves just in case the tick kind of explodes or whatever. You don't want it all over your hands. And I, I really don't want bugs on my hands. I don't, I don't like bugs, so, but I'm going to prepare myself. Then I suggest everybody owns a tick remover. Now these are two tick removers that come in one package. There's a small one and a larger one. The small one's for smaller ticks and the big one is for bigger ticks. So this tick's a little bit big so I'm gonna try um, the bigger one to get the tick off. Then you want to get a plastic bag and the reason for the plastic bag is I'm gonna put the tick in here so I can show my vet and make sure it's not a tick that can spread Lyme disease. Now hopefully it's just a, a regular tick and doesn't spread any disease because I'd have to get my dog tested. So I'm going to put a, usually you can put alcohol in here or something. Um, I didn't have any alcohol so I'm just going to put um, hydrogen peroxide in it and lock it up. I'm going to put it outside because it's, it's really late. It's like past 11 o'clock here. I'm going to put it outside just in case it gets out of the bag so I can bring it to the vets uh, tomorrow. Okay, so I'm just going to slide, sorry if you can't see it, right under the tick if I can. Actually, it's probably been there for a while because it's kind of scabby. You see how it's just sitting there? And you just, you know what, I'm going to take off these gloves. I'm sorry, they're just in my way. Okay, so I'm going to spin it. It's got a lot of hair. And hopefully... The tick will just come out. Yeah, I, I, he's coming out. It's just it's just stuck to its hair. Oh yeah. Here I'll show you the tick. Hang on a sec. All right, so there's the tick. You can see the legs there. Um, the legs have come out in the head. You you got to be careful when you take out a tick not to leave the head in there because the tick is still in there and it can still grow. Um, if the head is in there, the body will just grow, you know, back. So um, you can see his little legs moving there. And I put hydrogen peroxide on him, so he's kind of stunned. So here's a better view of the tick. It's just sitting in the ball of uh, hydrogen peroxide. It is pretty ugly. I'm going to put it in the bag now. Okay, so after you remove the tick, you want to clean the area. I have an alcohol wipe. I'm just going to wipe the area. He's got kind of like a scab there. And tomorrow, I hope those aren't eggs. His hair's coming out. No, that's just a scab. Tomorrow I'm going to give him a bath and uh, really give him a check, check over for any more ticks. Here, we'll put this in the bag as well. So just give it a double wipe. And you can always take your dog to the vet to get the tick taken out if you're not comfortable doing it. And there's also, I believe there's a, um, a blood test that you can test for Lyme disease or you test, test the tick. So it's nice and clean now. There we go. Okay, so the last step is to get the tick in the bag and close the bag up. Put it outside because the vets are closed now. So hopefully I can just dump it in. Let's have a, let's try. Oh no, oh there he goes. Did he go in? Yeah. Oh, there it is. So I got uh, hydrogen peroxide. You can use alcohol just to kill the, the tick and zip it up. And I have alcohol wipes in here, the wipes that I use to clean my dog's head. So the alcohol um, should kill um, the tick. So there it is. It's going to go outside. 
And um, yeah, so thanks for watching and subscribe if you haven't already for more grooming videos. We'll see you in the next video. Bye bye.